Well, for this segment of WeatherWise, I wanted to go over something that we see uh, quite often here on the peninsula, sea breezes and land breezes. Now, this happens along the coastal areas and is usually caused by uneven heating, which leads to uneven pressure. So during a hot summer afternoon, the land heats up a lot quicker and obviously the ocean stays a little bit cooler. Now that hot air over the land, it rises and because of the rest of the land is hot, it is then half pushed out across the ocean. Now that air across the ocean then cools and begins to sink and as that cool air sinks, well, it needs to complete the circle, so it's going to begin to rush on land. So that's why we see those sea breezes and there's usually the strongest during the afternoon hours. Now at night, obviously the opposite thing happens because the land cools much quicker than the ocean and your ocean temperature stays a more consistent. So this leads to the air rising over the ocean that's then being pushed in inland and then of course that air sinks across the land. Now as it sinks across the land, it needs to complete the circle as well. So we then slide that back across the ocean. So that is a land breeze. Now land breezes are fairly weak and sea breezes are much stronger. Now a sea breeze can allow for some storm development and we usually see this down in Florida. Now again, all this is due to a change in pressure over the land and the ocean. And most of the time the sea breeze happens during the day and the land breeze occurs at night.